So we're here with club chairman Wayne Todkeld. Um Wayne, the club announced on Thursday that we wouldn't be playing for the next couple of games because of safety reasons. Can you explain that a bit more? Well, since Chris, before Christmas, it's been difficult to plan the game safely, really. Um, with a num number of games being called off due to positive tests in the squads. Uh, the most recent, obviously, with the most recent uh, spike in cases, has made it more even more difficult to ensure the safety of all players and staff, really. So, we feel that to fulfil our fixtures without a, a robust testing process across the league, so that's what we're, we're, we're hoping to get. And that testing process, is that something that would bring about more costs? Well, it would, but we're not clear you know, how, how that's going to be covered, really. Uh, but our main priority is to show players and staff are not unnecessarily put at risk. So we want guarantees uh, and procedures put in place across the league. Uh, with most clubs being semi-professional and not be able to, you know, uh, small bubbles, we just can't see how we can achieve it. So, what do you want to play on then? Listen, we're all here because of the love of football, you know, um, and we do anything in our power to try and make it happen. But, but with the resolution and timeline set out by the league, it looks impossible to do so, really. And why is that then? What's what's behind that? Well, we have to make um, sure the long term security of the club is the art of everything we do, uh, as we've always done at this football club. The current board are not prepared to put that in jeopardy, jeopardy, um, given the hard work to get where we are today by all all of our predecessors at the club, really. So basically, we're not going to put that in jeopardy. So is that a question of finance? Well, ultimately, yes. I mean, um, we this week we've put our application in to Sports England for our grant. We will not know that till two or three weeks. Um, so, you know, so we're, we're, we're pushed to make a decision now, really. Um, you know, we're, um, it's not guaranteed. So, you know, that, that doesn't help us as a football club. Um, and obviously we don't want to be saddling our football club with any debt going forward. Uh, no, you know, no matter how variable it is. And, uh, and that could be up to 20 years. So, you know, we, we don't want to do that. We, we want to, you know, um, try and get the grants. Not only that though, Paul, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're in front with our fixtures at the moment. And uh, so giving us that time could help us. So to ask a really fundamental question, why did we start the season? Well, we started the season because we, we knew that we were going to get grants till the end of the season. December and then it was going to be reviewed by the league. Then now we're in this position now of uh, applying for a new grant or it's going to be a loan. So, you know, and I just want to put on record, you know, um, the National Lottery, without that for the next last three months, we wouldn't have started football. So I want to thank them personally, you know, because end of the day, without their support, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have got anything. So this is why we're in this position now. So what is the position now then? Well, quite simply, things haven't changed. Our income streams are all closed down. Bar, 3G, um, everything within the club is, is closed down. And um, so basically, we, we, we just, we, without the grants, we can't we can't carry on. So are we being pushed for a decision now then? Yeah, I mean, the league wants us to, you know, restart our games, but we're not in the position to do so, you know. So basically, um, we, if we don't get the grants by the end of March, uh, we can't guarantee, you know, paying our players. I know a lot of planning went, went in ahead of the season, didn't it? Uh, based on us having a reduction in income for a couple of months. Mm. Um, again, can you sort of expand on that for the benefit of the sports? Well, I mean, we made our best estimates on when we thought our business could open again, really. Uh, as a result of that, we already, already reduced our playing budget uh, which we believe is one of the lowest at this level, probably and possibly below, by a third. And our new manager understood that completely. Um, so basically, you know, um, we 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 had everything in place to start the season. You know, with with that with that business business model. There's there's been a lot of comment on social media about how teams are funded 
it, it's obviously very, very different at each club at this level. Um, but again, to help our supporters understand, can you in- explain a bit more about how we operate? So, so what we've done is we've prepared a graph, a graph it that shows you know in real simple terms what we do. We fund our football team through four income streams: hire, function of facility and bar, hire of the three G, sponsorship, and gate receipts. Them are the four things at this football club. How we, how we, our business model is run, and and they're they're all still closed down, are they? Yeah, but since, you know, we've had a couple of things when they reopened a few things, but other than two weeks, we've been completely closed down. But luckily, we've had some great sponsors, you know, kept by us and, and kept supporting us. But other than that, everything's been co- co- closed down. I suppose um, there'll be a lot of questions about whether we've acted responsibly as a club. Um, do you think we could have done anything differently? We don't think so. Um, I mean, you know, we did the planning up front, uh, not assuming any handouts and the manager and his staff and the players have been exceptional in uh, buying in to the position we're in. These guys are genuine, you know, uh, honest and hardworking people and certainly haven't come here to, in the result of any outside or unplanned up for funding. Um I think a lot of supporters in even other clubs would be surprised how we can get a, a team together to compete at this level, and you know, especially on the wage bill we have, um, we literally strip back everything back to the bone to carry on playing at this football club. And finally, Wayne, um, Steve came in at the start of the start of the season. What a season it's been for him, his staff, and all, all the players that he's brought, been brought brought together. Yeah, and you know, me and Steve were talking about it the other day. You I mean we both. Uh, me as chairman, him as um, as, as as first team manager. We we, we haven't f- finished the season, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, since since we took over, and um, so it's it's a difficult time. But I just want to put on record, you know, the the players, the staff, uh, Steve himself has been absolutely so professional through everything we've done, uh, preparing the lads and everything like that. You know, um, we have a really good relationship with. With, with, with the staff and especially Steve and the players themselves. It's just been unfortunate that we couldn't meet them in a social environment in, you know, after games and things like that. So, but we want to thank them because they've worked hard and, um, you know, and like anything else, we want them to play football as quick as we can. But unfortunately, the way things are, we just feel that we, 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 we just can't at the moment until we get some uh, clarity on grants and, uh, and see if we can um, move forward. And is there a very final message that you want to give to all our supporters and everyone associated with the club? I just want to thank everybody, really, the, the supporters for you know helping us with the funding, with with um, what we've put out there. You know the streaming of the games, which helps you know um, get our games out to to the general public. Uh, I just want to thank them. I want to thank you know, like I said, in many occasions. Um, it's not just our first team here, it's it's our community. You know, I want to thank personally our juniors um who parents have, have kept their 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 their, their subs going, um their memberships. I wanna thank them really, that them sort of people and 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 hopefully we'll see them all soon back at the football club, you know, watching our, our team, you know, um hopefully win some football matches. Thanks, Wayne. I think um Nice place to end and uh, hopefully we'll have some positive news in the coming days and weeks. Thank you.